relax ourselves by focusing on our breathing. Notice the breath going in and out of your body, quietly on autopilot. As you breathe a little bit deeper, feel how your chest swells gently. That breath curls inwards, circles in your ribcage and then leaves again. Follow the pathway between these two walls, 
as it leads around to the left, is beginning to take you in a circular route that is a lazy anti-clockwise twist as you follow this circle heading left you feel the land move around you this wide labyrinth of sun warmed stonework stretching to the horizon this labyrinth offers a gift the ability to lift a part of your life up to turn it around like a jigsaw piece so that piece can finally fit into place and then energy understanding can flow through the whole pattern so while you lazily follow this pathway curling round walking as if you're in a dream think about something in life you'd like clarity upon a thought you can carry with you without fully opening it up it's something you want to understand better in life so hold it in your mind now make that choice as you follow the path As you continue following this pathway, between the waist-high walls of stone, something is flickering in the sunlight. Thin young trees are growing out of those stones, out of the gaps between the blocks, and they provide momentary, thin glints of shade as you pass by. Your pathway is still taking you round in a big circle, through a chaos of turns while your fingertips brush against the thin young trunks of the trees. Now the path leads you up an incline, a small hill, and instead of grass, your feet are on steps of warmed stone. At its crown, you'll find the pathway opens out. Topping the hill is a circular clearing surrounded by a low wall. At the centre of this clearing is a marble pedestal. Its shadow goes straight down below it in a circle. It's exactly noon. Hovering a few metres above this pedestal, there's a miniature sun, a sun about a metre across, flaming, golden, but not quite too bright to look upon. flares burst out of it as you stand underneath and like a medieval painted sun it has a face a face that's benevolent but expressionless the eyes heavy lidded the nose strong looking down seeing you seeing all that's below it Remember how this labyrinth is able to examine a jigsaw piece of your life to help you understand it. Well, whatever issue you chose to look at, bring it now to this sun. This sun can energize the issue. But beware as well, because if you hold it too long, it may burn and char in your fingers. So here in this clearing, in the warm rays of the sun, look into that sun face above you and present your issue to it. Explain it simply. Don't present too much emotion, too much logic, because then it will burn. But instead offer it as a simple issue for the sun to charge and clarify for you. Take a few moments to offer it up here. See what happens.
Someone taps you on the shoulder and you turn, but there's no one there. You're alone in this clearing, before the pedestal, warmed by that sun, up there in the sky a few meters away. Your feet start to follow a pathway out of this clearing. They take you back between the waist-high walls, the twisting chaos. Now you're moving in a general sweep clockwise, along a curve to the right. The trees aren't young anymore, but they rise full-sized, thick enough to have knocked the wall blocks out in places with their strong roots. You hear the wind moving through these thick, mature trees, growing out of the labyrinth walls. If you crane your neck as you walk, you'll sense the many living things flitting up there from branch to branch. Life is all around you as you walk this labyrinth. The general curve that the twisting pathway is taking to the right brings a smell of earth flooding your nostrils. From all those trees that now form the labyrinth walls, you find you're climbing upwards. Once again, your feet are taking you up another hill. The walls flanking you pull away, open up to place you in another enclosure. Now overhead there's clear sky, and at the center of this clearing, on top of this hill, like a vast mushroom of greenery as an old oak towering above you, it rises into the sunshine, radiant, timeless. Walk underneath its shade, right up to its trunk, and with your hands, feel how the moss is soft, and the bark is spongy. Sit down a moment with your back against that trunk. As you rest here, imagine the many species overhead for whom this oak is an entire world. Breathe in the rich air. Imagine down in the earth, rising up through the maze of roots up into the trunk to the branches as a pulse of slow strength. And you can feel that pulse in your own body. Hold out a hand. You'll catch in it a falling green acorn still in its cup. Once you hold that acorn, you'll hear footsteps from above you on the hill. And walking into the clearing is a you from your past, a version of yourself from a historical time when you felt free. You're clearly on your way somewhere. Let your mind supply which version of you this is, what period it's from, building up the details, what you look like, the expression on your face, how you move, your overall aura. Now this you from your past won't actually stop as they circle around the oak trunk, following their way through the labyrinth, but they'll notice you, pleased to see you, slow down as they draw near, so get to your feet as they approach and ask in a way that feels natural to you, whether it's in words or feelings or images in your head, ask this past you what makes them so happy, so free. As they walk slowly by, converse with them, quiz them, try and identify what that happiness was, that freedom, and how you can feel it again.
Once again you feel a tap on your shoulder, and you turn around, but there's still nobody there. Instead you're alone here in this clearing with the oak, and your feet begin to carry you again. The two walls come close, the coiling walls of the labyrinth. Now the path is going to the left, sweeping anti-clockwise, and those waist-high walls are once more of stone, but the stones are of different types. Some blocks are of marble, antique, perhaps taken from other buildings. Other blocks are of bricks or cement, modern things, perhaps cheap repairs of the wall. The walls date from different periods, and the skills, material and technology used in them varies wildly. It's a hodgepodge of different stones, different attitudes to work, and as you walk between them following this curving path, let your intuition suggest if these stones were ever meant to line this pathway, or if they've come from elsewhere, if they were placed with love and pride, or with indifference or lack of care. As your hands trail over them, are you able to pick up where some of them came from? How they ended up here, directing this current moment? Once again, you're climbing upwards another small hill in this labyrinth. Your bare feet are on a stone staircase, and they take you up in a slow curve clockwise. As you walk a mist creeps in, cool moisture you can feel in your lungs. The walls become indistinct, you have to feel your way forwards, one hand stretched out on each wall. There are a few trees here, but they're grey silhouettes. Any birds and insects we were hearing have grown silent. In this cool greyness, we only hear your footsteps. Feel your way onwards, touching the damp stone. The ground rises beneath your feet steeper and steeper until, as you round a tight curve, the mist suddenly clears, pulls back, blows away, and you're standing on top of another small hill in a clearing. But now it's night, the stars are vivid overhead, the enclosure walls are precisely picked out in moonlight, and at the centre of this clearing there's another marble pedestal, Go and stand right by it, hovering above you, a few meters away, is a miniature, meter-wide moon. Craters and shadows that are very familiar to you, and this moon is infinitely far away. The space around it warps down a telescopic scale to seem near to you close enough even to reach, but in fact, it's distant, removed, its light can reach you, but if you reach up, you never touch it. Lit by its glow, think again about the issue we brought into this labyrinth, the jigsaw piece we'd like to understand, the one we last shared with the sun. Here. You can offer the moon your ideas about this issue, but be careful, ideas held too close to the moon face can be lost forever, sliding away and away into telescopic space. Hold out your issue to the moon and explain where you get lost inside when you think about this issue. Where do your intentions your good ideas, 
become frozen, locked in place. Where do you procrastinate when you consider this issue? Again you feel the tap on your shoulder and turn but once more, there's nobody there. But your feet are in motion, they're leading you on a pathway out of this clearing. The walls flank you once more, and this time you're in a tight circle, running clockwise in the moonlight, and the walls to either side seem recently built. You're led quickly along the path into another clearing, and this one is of smooth, silky spring grass, lit and turned to silver by the moon. Just before you in this clearing is a small hole scooped out of the earth, waiting. Place that acorn that you were given by the oak into the soil, and push the loose earth over it, patting it down, leaving it here to grow, to surprise you pleasantly in your future. As you do this, footsteps sound, turning you notice that entering the clearing is another version of yourself, but this is from your future. Once again your mind will present the details of yourself, and you may well be surprised, for this is clearly a successful future you are emerging from. This future you is happy and confident, walks with a bounce in its step, as it notices you its face lights up, its arms are wide in greeting. They won't completely stop, but they will slow in their walk as they get near to you, smiling, open. And they will share one single word with you as you go by. One word only, a clue crossing the gulf between future and now, linking the two of you. So draw close and listen for that word now a word of wisdom. Your shoulder is tapped a final time. Your future self is striding away into the world below. And you're moving as well. Your feet now walk a spiral pathway and it winds downwards, tighter and tighter. The steps are so steep that you grip the stone walls as you go down. Finally the pathway ends in an enclosure the center of the labyrinth. The raw ancient monolith, it towers above you. If you walk around this monolith clockwise, you'll be in sunlight and warmth, part of that daylight world where a miniature sun is burning above its pedestal a sun with the power to create and to destroy. But if you walk around anti-clockwise, you'll be in the night time with all its pleasures, the miniature moon, the mysteries, the other world. Mm. 
So rest here at the Labyrinth Center and choose what energy, what framework you want going forwards for your issue, day or night. Think as you rest here of what the sun revealed to you and what you learned from your past self. And remember as well what the moon offered to you and the word of wisdom shared by your future self. When you've chosen which you want, day or night, walk with one hand trailing that rough monolith's surface. Go round in that energy and fully charge yourself on what it is that brings you to life about day or night. feet are moving once more, but now you are stepping out of the labyrinth. The flanking stone walls pull away, and if you turn, you'll find now you're on open ground, and the labyrinth is a sight before you. There are its coils of walls. In the distance, that small sun blazing. In a different part, there's a moon glowing. That now distant monolith, there in the navel of the earth. But now, we're going to take those treasures, those insights back to our waiting lives. So say goodbye in a way that feels natural to you to this labyrinth, to this landscape, to the sun and moon, the day and night, to your past and your future. And while you're bidding farewell, you'll feel the wind moving around you more insistently. And you are as light as a feather, a speck of dust or a dry autumn leaf, easily picked up by that breeze. And that breeze is going to carry us back now, back to where we've left our waiting bodies, sitting or lying down. Feel yourself rise held safely by the wind. The landscape below is moving into the back of your mind. Instead we go forwards, 
over the rooftops, through the ceiling, to where your body is waiting. Lay yourself over the outline of your physical body, and we'll breathe ourselves back in to ensure that mental and physical bodies are perfectly aligned. So breathe in, and let that breath go down inside you all the way down your legs, to your feet, to your heels and soles and toes, and leave yourself down there. Breathe in again, and take that breath down your legs so it rests now at your ankles, your calves, and you're filling yourself all the way up to your knees. Breathe in once more, and go down from your knees up the thighs to the hips, so that now your legs are beginning to feel the right weight again attached to you. Inhale again and take that breath down to your tummy, all the way up to where your ribs fan out from the spine, so now your chest is feeling the right weight. We'll breathe in again and this time go down the two arms all the way to the wrists, the palms and the fingers, leaving ourselves there. Inhale again and take it down those two tunnels to the elbows. Fill the forearms and the upper arms all the way to the shoulders. Breathe in again and now let's go up into the head where your mouth is, your eyes and the curve inside the top of your skull. Bring that little point of you that thinks to sit back in the forehead where it normally lives. Try wiggling your fingers and your toes. And when you are ready, when you're fully back, let's open up our eyes. <laughs>